Here is another video on what to do with leftovers. I'm gonna have to work on that. We just had dinner and I have a ton of mashed potatoes left over. For some reason, whenever we make mashed potatoes, we have so many. So I've been doing this series on what to do with leftovers and I'm gonna be making, like using these mashed potatoes today to make mashed potato puffs. So we're gonna be putting them into a cupcake holder. We're gonna be adding some different ingredients. We're gonna cook them. And then I also am cooking chicken. Um, we have some leftover chicken breast, some chicken and potatoes. So today is kind of like a leftover day, but I'm trying to, like I said before, use up all the food and create I put meals. all the mashed potatoes in the bowl, as you've seen. So it is um, three cups of mashed potatoes, but I have so many that I have nine cups in here. So I'm gonna be tripling the recipe. So what you do is you start out with the mashed potatoes. I did use a hand mixer because they were still kind of lumpy. You want them cold. And I didn't want to add any cream because when I put them into the cupcake holders, I don't want like a lot of juices and them to be mushy. So I'm not going to add cream to these. So right now we have nine cups of mashed potatoes and now we're going to start adding all the other ingredients. So to the nine, nine cups of mashed potatoes, we're going to add three cups of shredded cheddar cheese. All right. And then we're going to be adding one and a half cups of shredded Parmesan cheese. There we go. And then I have two teaspoons of garlic salt. I was gonna use garlic, but I, I wasn't really sure like how it would bake into the mashed potatoes. And then two teaspoons of onion powder. And then one teaspoon of paprika. I love paprika, I love the smokiness of it. So I wanted to, to put that in here too. So they're kind of like a mashed potato cupcake puff with a smoky flavor to them. So one teaspoon. And then I'm gonna be doing parsley on the top. Once they're done, we're gonna sprinkle it on. And then I have four eggs. And it's super easy. Like, you know, making leftovers, using leftovers to make a meal, it shouldn't take forever. It should be something very simple. All right, we're gonna mix this together. And then we're gonna scoop them into our cupcake holder. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh gosh, I'm not dead. Okay, look at that, I just made a mess. Okay, so we're gonna mix these. I just, I thought my mixer was dead and it's not, and so I just got stuff everywhere. All right, so we're gonna mix these really good. I have seen some recipes where you add, um, some people add uh, flour to it. I didn't wanna do that, because I already have a ton of starch of carbs in here. I had to shift out my uh, mixers, because the other one is dead. All right, let's get these eggs mixed in here. I got my oven heated up to 400 degrees. I literally got mashed potatoes everywhere. I also see them where people don't add the egg to it and then they roll the mashed potato balls into the egg and the breadcrumbs. I didn't want to do that either. I felt like the egg needed to be inside to keep it together. And then we'll top them with sour cream. So now we're going to put, using a scooper, we're going to put them into our cupcake pan. I'm going to try and fill them all the way to the top and then I have the parsley to sprinkle on it. And I felt it and it is kind of moist, so I think it's gonna work fine. I might need two cupcake pans. All right. So we're gonna fill all these up. This is my 24. I like to use big pans when I'm making cupcakes because I have so many kids. And usually when we use them, we're using them for a reason, like I'm making cupcakes for our teens' kids or teens. All right. And then when they come out, sour cream. And then we'll pair this with the chicken breast that I have to cook. It's in the oven right now. All right. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this, get them in the oven, because my crew is coming home already from work. 
I'm a little late because we went to the beach today. Kind of threw me off a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a ton of these. Well, my family loves mashed potatoes. So hopefully these work good. All right, I'm just gonna top them off because I want them to go all the way to the top. You're gonna bake them for about 20 minutes. You know, you could also add bacon bits, chopped ham, you can add onion, you can add whatever you want into these. I'm just trying to keep them simple. Bake them for about 20 minutes and then, all right, there we go, that looks good. Looks like I'm gonna have to do two batches Now we're gonna them. sprinkle them with a little bit of parsley. Oop, my top's gone, so let's do this. Just a little bit. There we go. You can do chives if you want to. I mean, you can do whatever you want with these. Kind of reminds me of a twice baked potato, but you don't add the egg to it. All right, I love my muffin pans. All right, there we go. All right, into the oven. What? This one needs a little bit more. Okay, so I have some done. There's more in the oven. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's at 400. I have my temperature a little lower and you really have to make sure that they brown on the top. So I noticed some of the ones in the middle are not cooking like the edges. So I got the edges off, but the middle ones are back into the oven because um, you want them to be able to keep their shape. So maybe don't fill up the cupcakes as much, but they look really good. They're really hot though. Um, so they did pretty much keep their shape. This was more of a middle one, so it's kind of relaxing on me. So I put them back into the oven um, and then I have another pan in there. So um, they, they smell really good. They taste great. So now what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of sour cream on the top and then serve them with the chicken. They kind of remind me of a potato pancake a little bit. Haley said it reminds her of the cheddar biscuits from Red Lobster. But like I said earlier, you can put bacon in them or ham, whatever you want. Just make it your own. All right, those look great. Okay, there we go. How nice are those? They look great. Now I gotta have my boys all the time. Well, thank you for joining me on another what to do with your leftovers. This was using leftover mashed potatoes and creating um, mashed potato puffs or mashed potato cupcakes. I really don't know what to, try, what to name them, but yeah, looks good, smells good. Woo -wee. I think I'm gonna try these out on Derek and Noah. Hold on a second. All right, here, here is the, that's okay. Here's the true test. Come over here, Noah. They are a little hot, so we're gonna see what they think. Okay. They're steaming up. Yeah, they are. They're steaming. Tell me what you think. Those are mashed potatoes I turned into leftovers. What do you think? Don't, don't burn yourself. <laughs> they are a little warm. What do you think? I'd say they're better than normal mashed potatoes. Really? What do you think, Dr. Pepper? Warm, but good. Good? Yeah. Okay, so that's a thumbs up. Is that a thumbs up for both of you guys? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe and like to our family page. And um, what to do with your leftovers? <laughs> I know, I got to think of something else besides that. <laughs>